Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a dramatic makeup look. Seeing as we are in fall or autumn now and we are in the month of October, which of course is Halloween, I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic than what I normally would. I saw an amazing makeup look by Shanexo where she used a blue lip so I just wanted to do something with a bit of colour today and play around seeing as I've never done a blue lip tutorial before so I really love how this turned out and I really hope you do too if you want to see how I created this makeup look then please keep on watching Eyes in the sky. Starting off this look today, I'm going in with an illuminating primer and I'm just applying this all over my skin just to give our skin that glow from within look. And then I'm going in with a mattifying primer and applying this to my T-zone area just to keep me matte throughout the day. I'm next going to prep my skin with my Matte Prep and Prime Fix Plus and then I'm moving on to my foundation. So I'm taking a mattifying full coverage of foundation today and I'm just going to stipple this all over my skin with a round top Kabuki brush and then I will blend it into the skin using a beauty blender. <laughs> taking a concealer the same tone as my skin tone or foundation even and I'm just applying this onto any areas that I want to um, disguise any redness or also underneath my eyes for any darkness and I'm just blending that into the skin with a brush. I'm now going in with a highlighting concealer and also a contouring concealer and I'm just going to apply these onto my face. So first we're going in with the highlighting concealer and I'm just applying this on all the areas that I want to highlight and lighten up and um, emphasise. So I'm taking it down the centre of my face, underneath my eyes and also underneath my cheekbones. I'm then taking the contour shade to apply to the areas that I want to sink in or to become reduced so I'm going up the sides of my nose I'm also going around my forehead and also along my cheekbones and jawline just to minimize these areas I'm then going to blend in the highlighting concealer first of all with a stippling brush and then I will blend it in with a beauty blender and I will then blend the contour shades with a stiffer style brush and also again a, another um, beauty blender. It's true, baby, taking some pressed powders which are very full coverage in different shades to set the different areas of my skin so I'm first of all going to be applying the lightest powder shade and I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes and also down the center of my face to set all of those highlighted concealer areas <laughs> Then I will be taking the darker shade and I'm going to use this product to set all of the areas that we just contoured. So I'm applying it first of all to the cheekbones and I'm also applying it up around the forehead and also along the jaw head and nose. This is just going to set all of these products without taking away the colours that we've applied onto the skin. So if we just set everything with just a skin tone powder it would minimise the effect of the contour and the highlight. And then I'm going in with a skin 
Skin Toned Powder. So this is the shade that my foundation is in. I'm just setting all the areas that we haven't yet set. So I'm setting in between the light and the dark shade and also any areas like underneath the cheekbones which we haven't yet set. I'm also taking it along my nose just to really help blend um, that nose contour. I'm also taking it on a real technique sponge and just setting underneath my cheekbones and then going back in with that lightest shade powder and just contouring and carving out that nose contour so I set the center of my nose and I'm also going along where that dark shade is. I'm moving on to Who the Bronzer from Benefit and this is going to be my bronzing slash contouring shade today and I'm just going to be maximizing the contour so I've already set it with a sort of bronzed toned powder and I'm now going to really set and really set off that contour with the Hula powder. Keeping the skin very bronzy and glowy, I'm going in with a nice um, illuminating blush in a tanned rose shade and then I'll be taking a nice bright highlighter and applying this to all the high points of my face. So on the top of my cheekbones, up around my brow and forehead, down the centre of my nose and also on my cupid's bow. <laughs> Now that my base is complete, I'm moving on to my eyes. So I'm first of all filling in my brows. I feel like if you fill in your brows first, it's just gonna frame your face and then anything you apply after that, you can see what it's gonna look like, if that makes sense. A lot of the time if I do my eye makeup before my brows, I look at it and I'm like, is this gonna actually like look good? But once everything is complete, it really does. So I'm gonna stop rambling and carry on. So <laughs> of course, I just use the same products as always to just fill in my brows and set them in place and then I'm taking this cool grey shade and buffing this into my crease as a transition colour and then taking this nice bright white highlight and I'm going to be applying this on to my inner corner and also underneath my brow as my highlight today. Taking a nice light cool toned brown shade, I'm just going to deepen up that crease and smoke it out a little bit more so it's easier to blend some colours into. I'm taking this sort of taupey grey shade and I'm just applying this all over my eyelid with a short shadow brush so I'm getting the most amount of colour payoff. And then just making sure I've buffed my crease and then I'm taking this dark cool toned grey shimmery colour and applying this to the outer corner just to really deepen up this area of the eye and just add some more definition and drama. Now I changed this part up later on in the video as you will see but I thought I would still include this so I went in with a dark blue liner and just applied it to my waterline. I then smoked it out with that same dark grey shade and just buffed it to make it a bit more smoky. I'm then taking a nice dark shimmery blue shade and setting that eyeliner in place. This is just going to help it last a lot longer and it's also going to intensify that blue shade. I'm now mixing a couple of pigments with some um, liquid eye primer I believe it's called and I've literally just created a eyeliner with a pigment so it's just got this really shimmery colour which I absolutely am obsessed with how this part came out. Hello. As you can tell. So I'm then just curling my lashes and applying a little bit of mascara. I first apply mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm then applying some nice dramatic falsies on top. And then I will be blending my natural lashes into my falsies with a little bit more mascara. So for my lips, I wanted to do a really out there blue lip, but I don't actually own any blue lipstick. So I just pulled out some different products and tried them and they worked. So I first of all applied this blue um, eyeshadow pencil as a base. It's kind of like a lip liner. I was just testing out and getting that line because obviously with a dark 
lipstick colour you can easily ruin your whole entire makeup with it um, and then I had a selection of blue liners and cream um, eyeshadow pots so I just applied a Maybelline colour tattoo actually and I applied it with a brush just over the top just to add a little bit of a different colour and a little bit more of a sheen and I absolutely love how this look came out it was just such a beautiful blue lip course I made sure I didn't get any of this blue on my teeth and then I applied that same blue um, colour tattoo on my lower lash line as well instead of that eyeliner. So that's how I created this out there dramatic makeup look. I absolutely love how it turned out and can't wait to uh, kind of scare Luke later on. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, especially this one. And I will talk to you all in my next one.